Lately, running's been a bit too easy, so I wanted to take it up a notch. And what better way than to run an entire relay by myself in 104 degree heat. This isn't a normal four by eight. This is a four by two and a half mile relay, which means I'm gonna be running 10. Hopefully Tyler doesn't do that, the medical team. What could go wrong? One last fun thing is that every leg of the relay, I'll be switching singlets so I can wear four different bibs and get four different splits. I'm just gonna pick these up as I go. My one objective, beat as many of the 340 actual relay teams as I can. I'm so ready to see how many teams of people I can beat by myself. I'm definitely gonna go out easy so I don't die because I do have four legs of this relay to run. So I warmed up a mile and then put on the super shoes as my pay to win strategy. Throwing on the vapor flies. I haven't put these on in a while. Haven't had a race effort in probably almost six months. First race fit officially on. I will be wearing four different outfits throughout this race, which is funny. I'm not looking forward to this at all. It's about to be one of the most miserable races of my life. I'm a tough through. Give it a good effort, that's what this one's about. I just wanna leave it all out there regardless of how I feel or the pace or anything. It's just hot. It's hot. It's hot. So I headed to the start line by myself to solo this entire relay in ungodly temperatures. The gun goes off and everyone else's first leg takes off incredibly fast. I make sure to start slow since I would be running 10 miles while everyone else was only running two and a half. Here's the route for each leg. I'm heading towards the first out and back and the leader is already gapping me by a huge amount. With the race adrenaline from the start and everyone else having to run only 2.5 miles, I am running way faster than I wanted to. Running 10 miles in 104 degrees is no joke and by the end of the race I'm going to be brutally tested. But for now, everything is going pretty well, and I make it through mile one in a much too fast 6.05. 6.05 is way too fast of a split to begin with for this long of a race in these conditions. I make sure to grab water to rehydrate and begin the second out and back of the 2.5 mile loop. Coming back, I'm hurting. This is brutal. Come on, let's go up the hill. Come on, push it up the hill, push it up the hill, come on. Let's go up the hill. Thanks to my dad's encouragement, I hit mile two in a 617 and I'm still rolling. But the first leg of this race is almost up, which means everyone but me is going to be finished. Meanwhile, I'll still have seven and a half miles left to run. Before I knew it, I was coming in the exchange zone, finishing my first leg in 15 minutes, 35 seconds, and quickly becoming more wary. Like I said before, every new leg, I would have to swap singlets in order to get splits. I'm clearly pretty sweaty. This was a massive time drain to switch every leg. This is brutal. Heat is just making me exhausted. So exhausted I couldn't even dress myself. Heads in your armhole. <laughs> yeah, I'm just, I'm just gassed. I'm too gassed for this. This singlet swap cost me 45 seconds easy, and I still had two more to do. All right, one leg down. Everyone else finishing. We got three more. So I took off and began the entire course over again, though this time, everyone around me was brand new. Since everyone was fresh, I had to remember that they'd be going out fast, so I needed to slow myself. My dad wanted me to keep rolling, though. Nice downhill here, Tyler. Come on, lengthen the strides. Let's go, let's go. Come on, Tyler, come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Huge encouragement, which allows me to hit mile three in 651. It sounds slow, but you have to remember that it includes my entire singlet change. So the actual running split is closer to 610 or so. After running about a 19 minute 5K in 104 degrees, I was starting to feel it. I made sure to grab water because my entire throat was going dry and my dad got me with some motivation as I came back the opposite way. You're doing good, you're doing good, you're looking really good, let's go. Doing good, make sure you hydrate. Good job, Tyler, keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Come on, you're doing great, you're doing great. Mile four, 646. It's not as talkative this time around and it's only the second segment. It's important to note that that 646 was a true 646. I went from averaging six tenths to a sudden 646 mile, AKA, I was dying. I'm finishing up my second leg, but my mom forgot to record, so I'm gonna act out the singlet switch. Much lower 1731 split and a deteriorating sorely eyed emoji. Oh, I'm so tired. I'm so exhausted. I'm five miles into this race and I am 
floored. But now we're gonna put on the USA singlet and absolutely represent out there. All right, five more miles. Mile five is a 645, but the worst is still to come. I'm now on leg three of a 10 mile race and I am really starting to feel it. At this point, I'm just over halfway finished and I'm praying that I can finish this race without walking. It's really hard to convey via video, but it was so unbelievably hot. I felt like I came down with a fever and my whole body was overheating. I managed to make it through mile 6 in a 737, which does include the 40 seconds or so it took to change singlets. But still, it's obvious that I'm dying at this point. I went from a 6.05 first mile to now barely breaking 7 minutes. I make sure to grab water, of course, and head down the second out and back for the third time this race. It truly hit me that I was doing 4 times as much as anyone else and I was suffering because of it. I end up going through mile 7 in my slowest time yet and things are starting to look bad for my final leg. I'm looking at the clock the whole time and my goal becomes to break 70 minutes including all of the singlet changes. Speaking of singlet changes, I'm at my final swap, running leg 3 in a painful 18-17 and officially becoming deceased in the process. Can I finish one more leg? Edgar Tyler's about to come out with a vengeance. Oh my god, that one is so sweaty. I'm unbelievably gassed right now. I want to cry. Last lap coming up here. Just got to push through. It's a mental struggle at this point. Let's get it. Final leg of this race coming up. How many teams would I be able to beat? Could I even finish this race without walking? These are the questions that are about to be answered. My eyes are completely dead, and the only thing I'm thinking of is taking the next step forward through this blistering heat. Luckily, this is the last leg, so I know that when I cross the finish line, this time it will be for good. I just now hit mile 8 in 728 with the singlet change, so I'm back under 7 flat pace once again. I'm doing everything I can to pick off as many many teams as possible on this last stretch, but it turns out that mile 9 is going to be the slowest mile of the day at 721. Mile 9 was by far the worst mile. My brain was barely functional and I felt like I was actually going to pass out the entire time. But now, with less than a mile to go, I knew I could pick it up and tough through to the very end. Luckily, with a half mile to go, there's this nice downhill, so suddenly I was running six flat pace and trying to hold it. In the home stretch, I was fighting with everything to break 70 minutes and beat every team I possibly could. And after running an entire 10 mile relay by myself, I ended up running 109.46 and coming in 70th out of 340 teams. 